This tutorial explains how to add a column to a data frame that was extracted from another data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the two pandas data frames that we can create with lines 2 to 11 of the code. So first in line 2 of the code I'm importing the pandas library. So after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the pandas library such as the data frame function. And then in lines 4 to 6 of the code I'm creating a first example data frame. So after running these lines of code you can see at the top right that a new data set is appearing which is called data1. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains 7 rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Then in the next step in lines 9 and 10 of the code I'm creating a second pandas data frame. So if you run these lines of code you can see that another data frame is appearing at the top right which is called data2. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right as well by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that our new data frame also contains seven rows. But this time this data frame contains different columns so in this case, the columns y1 and y2. Now let's assume that we want to add the column y2 of this pandas data frame to our first data frame data1. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 13 and 14. So in line 13 of the code, I'm first creating a copy of our first data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our first data frame. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see at the top right that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data new. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values as our first data frame data one. And then in the next line, in line 14 of the code, I'm adding the column y2 the second data frame as a new column to our new data frame. So if you run line 14 of the code, our data frame is updated and you can see that by printing the new data frame to the bottom right by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that our new data frame contains the same columns as our first data frame x1, x2 and x3. However, in addition to that, we have added the column y2 of the second data frame as a new column to our first data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.